DB and DBM. You've probably heard these terms thrown around throughout our videos, but what exactly do they mean? I'll cover what these terms mean as well as how they're used in the industry. In a nutshell, you can think of DBM as the amount of power an amplifier or antenna is capable of producing, or how much signal is at a site. While DB is a relative number of the amount of increase or decrease in signal. DBM is an absolute measure of signal strength. It is an abbreviation for decibel milliwatts and is calculated as 10 times the log of the signal strength in milliwatts. DBM is an important figure of merit when measuring the outside signal strength. We typically think of an outside signal as being strong when it is negative 70 dBm or better and poor when it is negative 100 dBm or worse. DBM is also useful for estimating the indoor coverage area we might expect from an amplifier system. For example, an indoor antenna that is radiating negative 20 dBm can effectively cover about 3,000 square feet. dB, on the other hand, is a relative figure and is simply an abbreviation for the word decibel. We use dB to describe how much increase or decrease in signal strength we have in our system. For example, if we measure an outside rooftop signal of negative 90 dBm and our amplifier system has a total gain of 70 dB, then our inside radiated signal would be negative 20 dBm. Keep in mind that because dB and dBm are logarithmic, the normal ways we are used to thinking about magnitudes no longer apply. For example, a negative 30 dBm signal is twice as powerful as a negative 33 dBm signal, and a negative 84 dBm signal is four times as powerful as a negative 90 dBm signal. The signal strength doubles every 3 dB. This subject is obviously much more complex and there's much more to know, but I hope this gives you a basic understanding of what these terms refer to. Understanding the difference in these terms will help you when it comes to installing cell phone signal amplifiers. Oh,